guys, welcome to Dolly & Associates. Today we are here at Canadian Tire Cranbrook to talk charity, community and connection, plus have an intense amount of fun. We are here with Jeff Levy of Canadian Tire Cranbrook. Welcome, Jeff. Uh, hi there. I'm, I'm glad you were able to make it to, uh, to Canadian Tire in Cranbrook. Good it, to see you. It's a pleasure. I'm really excited because we're going to talk today about Jumpstart. We're going to kind of speak about it nationally and locally, but then we're also going to talk about some fun initiative that you're going to tell me about in Cranbrook that Canadian Tire Cranbrook is taking part in. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so let's talk about Jumpstart first. I mean, Jumpstart is, is Canadian Tire's charitable division. So uh, Jumpstart is Canadian Tire's way to give back to the community, to give back to our customers. And, and it's really built around children playing sports, which really makes sense when you consider our product assortment and the type of Canadians that we serve every day. Yeah. So that's kind of what, what Jumpstart is in a nutshell. Excellent. And so if, if my research is correct, it's kids 4 to 18, and then there's different ways to become involved. So if you have like a sports team that you want funding, you can approach Jumpstart. If you're an independent family that's maybe just low income or struggling, Jumpstart. These are the, the resources that Canadian Tire provides for families in the community. Um, so how do we encourage folks in the community to, to take part in Jumpstart? Yeah, we'll start with, you know, uh, sports are expensive. Right, and especially when when families have multiple children in their family, they become expensive. Very. Uh, yeah, I have I have three children. Uh, my son played travel hockey. My son played travel baseball. My daughter was a dancer. My other daughter was a uh, was into gymnastics. So so those are all. And you would think that hockey is the most expensive one, but I'll tell you that dance is the most expensive uh -huh. one. So you probably didn't know that. They just don't tell you that. Yeah, they, that's right. Uh, so uh, just in my personal life, I've come I've come across lots of families who might even be you know, middle to lower income families that just can't afford to put their kids in sports. Mm -hmm. The cost of equipment is so, is so high and the enrollment fees are so high and the travel fees are so high. Consider hotels and consider you know, going to other cities and having to buy dinners and all those things. It, just, it. it just adds up. So the choice is you don't enroll your kids in sports at all and they sit at home and they don't learn leadership skills and they don't learn participation skills. So or, many benefits. Or they, or they uh, can leverage Jumpstart to help them you know, subsidize, finance some of those costs. Wonderful. Yeah. And so this is a, this is a program in all Canadian Tire communities nationally, and it's been around for quite some time. And Canadian Tire Cranbrook really makes a strong effort. Your team loves being a part of that fundraising. Can you kind of tell me what you've done in the past? Yeah. First of all, we're just getting started. Just so you know. So okay. so it's been a tricky couple of years for fundraising, obviously because of the state of the world in the last 24 yeah. months. Uh, I think over the last two years, we've raised $23,000 locally, which sounds like a big number, and it is a big number, and we should be proud of that number, but I think it's a drop in the bucket compared to what our plans and initiatives are for the, for call it the next 24 months. Okay, so, so for the next 24 months, tell us, the initiatives forward, what is the plan? Well, so I bought the store back in uh, 2020 now, so it's two years ago, boy, time flies. Uh, and, and so, you know, we, we've kind of been running for the last two years and we've been navigating some pretty tricky waters. And so we really haven't had a lot of time to just focus on our responsibility as community leaders. And Canadian Tire is a cornerstone business in Cranbrook. We have to get involved in this community. It's our duty. So uh, we've actually just developed a new initiative in, at Canadian Tire in Cranbrook and we call it Community Team. So Community Team is a way for all of our associates to get involved in the community in various ways and typically they're, they're community initiatives and some of them are fundraising initiatives also. So we can, you know, we can all get involved in raising more money for Jumpstart. Things like, I don't know, we've talked about maybe doing a polar bear dive. Oh, amazing. Yeah, and, and, getting, and, and maybe collecting sponsorship money for a polar bear dive that goes back into the community, back into local sport, back into local kids. And, and, and so this is the way for our associates to be able to participate uh, in, in more of an organized way. 
So you're really stepping into the conversation of supporting the community that supports you. Yeah, call it a connection, right? Like we, we want to be connected to our community. We want our community to be connected to us. And we want our associates to feel like they're part of something bigger than maybe just selling tires and hammers on a regular basis. We want them to feel like they're, they're part of, of, of a much bigger initiative out there. And they really are making a difference. Specifically, just recently, I got to spend some time with your store manager, Kelty, and we took part in a fun activity that's really going to benefit some community members. So why don't we we'll take a moment and we'll, we'll show the audience that, uh, that fun time with Kelty. I heard about this. I'm excited to see it myself. And here we are at Canadian Tire Cranbrook with the store manager, Kelty. We have an exciting activity today that's going to really benefit the community. The Canadian Tire Cranbrook crew is donating a certain percentage of product to the Cranbrook and Kimberly Food Bank. And what we have to do in order to earn that product is get as much as we can into these carts or these carts in a seven minute time frame. So Kelty, you are my girl and we are going to try this now are you ready ready we have to like we're, it's like this is what we trained for <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's do it place are ready go go <laughs> come on come on go go <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Run, come, come on, on, run! Oh, this way! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Woo! This way! Woo! Dolly, from the Jenga! Go, go, go! Yes, yes. There's another one! Get the game! Right here! Okay, we got it! Go, go! This oh, way. this is good. I'm coming. It's hard to steer with so many awesome gifts. Five minutes to go. They need pop truck. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah, I got it. Excellent throw. You're a good thrower, Kelty. That's us that's I go. knew we picked the right one. Okay, come on, Dolly. New cart. Cart overload. New cart, new cart. Right here. Hey, I've got, I've got some new, I've got some items. Okay, go, go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so we got socks. We got socks on the list. Okay. Whoop. Cool. Pair for you, pair for me. Whoop. Hey, hey. Oh, hold up. Stay there. Okay. 90 seconds left. <laughs> Head Headphones. Okay, what's next, Kelsey? You're the leader. Follow the leader. Let's go get the kite. <laughs> okay, but Kelsey, our time's running out. We have to get those bigger items. Let's go get them. The vacuum, the vacuum. We have a vacuum. This is an amazing gift. This is going to go to someone who's really going to love it. 30 seconds to go. I'm excited. And a kettle. And who doesn't need a vacuum? Woo, kettle. Kettle me up. Okay, but wait. Christmas time, winter time, we need, we need a crock pot. Let's get the crock pot. Okay, my friend, for you. Set and forget. Okay, are we done? We're done. Let's do this. Five, four, okay. Time three, is running out. two, one. Woo! <sighs> we did it. So that was absolutely amazing. I had an intense amount of fun. I've never caught a toaster in midair before. But Jeff, that was over $4,000 in merchandise that Canadian Tire, you and your team, just contributed to the Kimberly Food Bank and the Cranbrook Food Bank for their Christmas hamper drive. And I have been, I've been lucky to be involved a time or two in preparing those hampers. And it is humbling and it is beautiful. And to see the impact uh, of people giving, it's, it's amazing. So thank you from me, yeah. but honestly from everyone. So I'll tell you, I'm a little giddy and a little concerned at the same time. <laughs> this is why community team works so well, because uh, while I heard about what, what was going on, I didn't really organize it or orchestrate it. So $4,000 is a surprise <laughs> to me, but it, it's, a, it's, it's a reflection of what community team is empowered to do. Yeah. 
and community team and our associates are empowered to provide to our community. And it looks like uh, Kelty stepped up and did just that. And I'm so pleased to be part of it. I mean, what better cause uh, than something like this? Absolutely. Yeah. And to, to empower your team, it really says a lot about the quality of team that you build here at Canadian Tire Cranbrook. We lovingly refer to them as the Cranbrook crew. So uh, we are the Cranbrook crew and ask any one of them out there what the Cranbrook crew is all about and they'll go right to the board and they'll talk about our values. And community is clearly one of our core values and uh, looks like that was exemplified today. So. Amazing, well I think for myself, definitely excited the community is gonna see a lot of this initiative and this team. Um, so thank you for being forward in your, in your desire to be involved in our community. You said that you're two years of ownership, so you're new to the community and you're diving right in to make an impact. So that's, that's a really wonderful thing for a business owner. Yeah, look, I've, I've, uh, I've actually watched some of the Dolly and Associates, uh, some of these productions, and I'm, I feel privileged and honored to even be sitting down here with you, uh, yeah, to, to be part of this community. And look, you're a, you're a huge community ambassador, and so yeah, I feel, I feel privileged that you're here, and hopefully this community team gains some traction based on some of the, some of the footage that gets out there today. And, well, uh, I imagine you probably and your team would invite, like it, it, it can grow bigger. It can be, you guys are that core, but then other organizations, other folks can join in and, and ripple out and do more good. Yeah, like I said, just, just a drop in the bucket. Like yeah. I, I'm so excited to see where this goes. I feel privileged and lucky to be a Canadian Tire dealer here in Cranbrook. And so we're obligated uh, you know, to, to see how much we can give and to see how much of an impact we can make in Cranbrook. So, Wonderful. yeah, we're excited. Good. Jeff, thank you for being a community contributor, for building a team of community ambassadors for the Kimberly Cranbrook Food Bank and for lending me Kelty for some time. Um, it has been a pleasure. Yeah, I'm just in it for that ceremonial high five that I see on all your productions. So, oh, oh, do wait, I get one? Sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, thank you again. Guys, don't forget. Check out Dolly & Associates on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Shaw Spotlight. We'll see you next time. Thanks.